Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Whim's Legacy, where things have just gotten very interesting with the rebirth of Tata. Yes, the Tata. The Nishling trickster god has returned to us. He has almost no skills to his name, but he is now one of his reincarnations. Shall forever be known as a toxic bodied jack-o'-lantern, which I think is amazing. And he is actually the half sibling of the beautiful Rasisi, who remains one of the most amazing mixes of toxic body that I have ever seen. And we are carrying on right where we left off last time with Larila, our current tribe leader, struggling to decide between which of the two mates she shall take on. And I have to say, guys, I feel like we've hardly gotten any time with Larila, so I'm so excited for rumors of the cheats that should be more stable in the next update, where you can alter how long you want the life stages to be for your nichelings. Because I would probably consider maybe almost doubling the adult life stage so i really felt like i had some time with them some time to explore with each individual uh but i don't know what do you guys think how long would you make your nicheling life stages if you could it'd be really cool if you could set it individually so you could say like this nicheling is touched by the nicheling gods and she'll live for many generations or even if you had a plant that sort of restored some life but those are just some thoughts some thoughts i have had while tata reappears and proves that there is more than one way to reappear here in a tribe but all right guys so i think larila uh, is optimistic about the waterways her attempts to go for just strength last time ended up with kirkuvan actually being a little bit of a sickly nicheling he has sneezes and it startles her and she she's not sure what she thinks about all of those sneezes so this time we're actually going to have her breed with Orin and we're going to see what kind of child they will have together. Because this is the whims, we cannot look at the family tree and we cannot look at their genetics. We can look at their phenotype, how they physically display their genetics and try to guess what they have, but we can't look at their actual genes. Uh, so I don't know if they'll have an unhealthy baby together. There's only one way to find out. But the mutations that Orin might possibly pass on are Telfin to help with swimming and Gills to help with swimming. And the mutations Larila might pass on are Stinky Tail and Spots. So let's go ahead. We'll try again. That took. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let her get in this nest, even though she's a little startled by her sneezing son. Uh, and then I'm going to have... Rokuta is getting a little older, so he's going to stick sort of nearby. Uh, especially near his best friend, Kiro. And we need to just have a ton of babies, is kind of the bottom line. We're, push is coming to shove. We need to be ready. We gotta get baby ready. That's just what's happening. Even Miko, young Miko, is kind of thinking that she's ready. She likes Vanu. He's been helpful. He, he's a kind of quirky and he's sort of weird in his own way. But you know, it's nice to explore this island with him. So I think Miko might start having some children as well. And Rasisi is going to jump over. Uh, she unfortunately can't gather that coconut, uh, but she'll be kept under the watchful eye of Kiro, uh, who is going to make sure that she's healthy. Can I, can I have him do anything? He can do a little bit of fishing, but we can't let him get too close to her because he'll get sick. So fooey. But alright, we, we need to have a bit of a baby boom today because otherwise I don't think we're going to make it. Let's see. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to let Larila have her child. Oh, she really has a lot of like little, little uh, mustard colored baby boys. Oh, this is Taku. Hi, Taku. That's interesting. Unfortunately, not much of a swimmer. Huh, that's okay. Uh, and we'll let Kirkuvan come over and cause he's such a, a tough guy, he might help with searching out more paths. Um, And then we're actually gonna have little Tata jump over. He is just so funny. I wish he could hang out with his sister. He's so cool. Can she do anything? She can kind of gather these nuts. That's better than nothing. And I'm gonna have Kiro jump to the other side. Oh no, he might get brained by a coconut there. Ah, oh, the thorns are keeping him in here too. You made a bad decision and you're eagerness to keep an eye on her. All right, come on little Tata. All right, so we didn't have any luck with having a baby with Orin, but I think Larila is like, there's an empty nest. Might as well try this one. So we'll have Rokirta come over and any luck, any luck? 
Any luck? Any luck? No! And they might not be able to have a child. So, Oren, uh, you go ahead, jump over. We're gonna risk getting sick. Oh, dear. Yeah, we're getting pretty desperate here, but look at the lineup of nichelings we have. I just really want a, a bunch of water nichelings. Uh, so I guess I need to make that happen somehow. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing in the water to really get excited about either. All right, there we go. Got a little bit of food. Nice. And let's actually let these two, Vanu and Miko, they, they've been exploring together for a while. We're allowed to have 16 nichelings as long as Miko's sister is alive. So why not let their dreams come true? And for Miko, I'm gonna go ahead and let her children possibly have high fertility because fertility is beginning to be an issue in the tribe. And the nichling gods have decreed Burying a snout. Can I? I, don't, I think that's one of the few we haven't unlocked properly. It is one of the few we have not unlocked. Uh, they wanted burying the snout again. Wow, they really wanted burying the snout on her. And now they have decreed red brown fur. So let me make sure. Red brown fur is what they want her to pass on. I think she kind of already has that. And for Vanu, I want him to potentially pass on. Um, a much more useful hand type. So we're gonna go with nimble fingers because I really want to get that in the tribe. And the Nishling gods have decreed no melanism is what they want him to have. That's an interesting mix. But will they be able to have a child? Uh-oh. Well, with a little bit of effort. All right, thank goodness. Well, this is gonna be interesting, guys. We might have a chain of sickness if I'm not careful. And Larila is now like baby focused. She just really wants to have a bunch of children. She seems to be having mostly mustard colored baby boys. So Rusisi is one of one, two, three. Are you noting that? There's three females in this tribe. We might need to do some exploring for mates. Tata, is this, if we die under your watch, Tata, I am blaming you. Well, let's see what we can do. All right, don't have, no, Orin! Fooey, okay, Orin is sick. We need to have this baby. Uh, let's see, Rokirta? What are you trying to pass on again? Nothing yet. Rokirta, we're gonna have you pass on higher fertility, holy cow. That's suddenly become problem number one. And the Nishan gods want you to pass on medium ears if we have them. We do. All right. So try again. It was a success. We're gonna get cozy, comfy. We're gonna go ahead and eat this whole berry bush so we have some room to move. Larila has some pregnancy cravings. Uh, all right, Oren, you're gonna actually jump in the water and look for that healing plant that I know is like right next to you. Now, Cece, I think that we're actually gonna have you wander with Kiro a little bit further up this waterway. So I'm gonna have Rasisi explore over here and I think Tata is gonna join them for now. So I'm gonna have him get ready to explore down that direction too. And then uh, Rokirta can actually jump over and grab that nut. And Taku, he unfortunately can't really do much but I think he's gonna go exploring with his brother. So they're gonna do a little exploring together. Very independent uh, when you were born the child of such a strong leader. And yeah, Kirogan, he might do some exploring up that way if he can. Rora, Rora, if you could take on another mate, maybe Rasisi, it might need to happen that way. So I think that Rora, uh, even though he has a son in Kirkuvan, is going to swim over to the other side. He's actually a really good swimmer, all, all considered. He's one of our best swimmers and our best movers. And we're gonna go ahead and let Vanu jump over here. Can't eat those berries. And he's gonna try to contribute how he can to taking care of his new mate, Miko. What a lovely little relationship they have. Uh, all right, and Kiro, you can't go any closer, my boy, or else you will be in a world of pain. Uh, from Rasisi's illness, but let's see how things go. All right, Larila, you're about to die and that's making me nervous. Another yellow baby girl. Oh no, speaking of babies, it's the first bird sighted in ages for the whims. We must keep an eye on our children. Uh, all of our children are actually to our toxic body, I just realized. Kirovan is not. And we have another Rasisi. 
Ra CC and Re CC. Hmm, I meant to rename you Gigi, but I forgot. Um, that's interesting. <laughs> All right, Ra and Re CC, welcome. Uh, let's see how we're going to handle this. Orin, you're gonna die. No, Orin, you were supposed to have like a million other children. Oh my gosh, that's not how things are supposed to go, Orin. Uh, Rokirtha, is this a- I mean, she's really strong. Orin, you were supposed to have a million more babies. You're gonna die, Orin, because of the illness. Unless I feed you a berry. Oh, thank goodness, there's a berry. All right. Uh, but Larila is gonna die soon if I don't do something about this. Rokirtha, ah! These are not the genes that I wanted my nichelings to be focused on whatsoever. Oh, deep breaths. Well, Larila needs to just hurry and have a baby and she's got really terrible fertility. So if this works, we'll take it. It didn't work. Oh my gosh. All right, so her final child is going to be with Rokirtha, whether I like it or not. Tata is just over here gathering up like coconuts, like it's nobody's business. Um, let's destroy this nest and we'll just have- Little Taku seems a bit wild like his brother. And by wild, I just mean they seem to be okay with moving around. <gasps> and we had little baby Ducro, another male. Okay, thank goodness we had a female over here with Ra CC actually. But I think this would terrify Miko. Like she would want to make sure that her son is going to be safe. And uh, it looks like Vanu is almost trying to like lead the bird away. But yeah, I could see Miko being very upset about this. And I'm going to let her have another child while we still can have 16 nichelings. And then over here, Kiro and Rasisi definitely need to have some babies. So Kiro is going to come over. Has he already lined up his genes? He has. Has she? She has not. Uh, I'm going to give her... I want some water body nichelings, but I also want high fertility. I'm gonna give her higher fertility because she's so beautiful. And the nicheling gods have decreed medium body on her, which makes me unhappy. They might want to try to convince me to pull away from our toxic body nichelings. Not happening, nicheling gods, not happening. We're gonna let her get comfy. I think she finds the waterways quite soothing. And then he needs to scooch away from her a little bit. Otherwise, he's going to get sick. Okay. Holy moly. And Rora is here with his sister about to pass away. He may be our only hope for really passing on the genes that we are going for. So we are going to have him dash across the way and don't get hit by that coconut and possibly become a mate of Rasisi. Holy moly. This is getting a little hairy, guys. All right. Let's get in here with Rasisi. <gasps> Look at her daughter! Oh, how beautiful! Sarini, welcome! You have high fertility through the roof, thank goodness! And toxic body and some stripes. Uh, we just lost one of our males. Oh, that's gonna be so sad! That was Kiro's best friend! Oh my gosh, that's so sad! We have a little girl named Kois. Thank goodness it's a female. Looks a lot like her dad. Has almost no ability to feed herself. Um, maybe like might end up oh ah ah and then realize your final day <laughs> oh this is why i love the whims they just keep me on my toes like nobody's business guys all right <clears throat> Rasisi, it is the final day of kiro's life you two he can actually stand by your side he does not have to go anywhere you two can just enjoy this moment side by side together rora is going to come over and offer up what help he can as a male who can step in to help replace what shall soon be lost. Tata, don't you dare drown. And he's going to jump over to see what's going on. We have our little toxic squad going on here. We have Rasisi, who will need someone to watch over her soon as her mother is about to pass away. Uh, so I think that Taku... All right, you know what? Kirovan was going one direction. And he is sickly, so he can't do much, but I think that he would come back to watch over his mother's children, and he would encourage his younger brother, Taku, to do the same, to make sure that little Rasisi is not taken by the bird above. So we've got that. The bird thinks that it has, like, a heyday of babies to pick from. Not happening, Birdo. Um, and then we need to move Vanu over here, Miko over here, 
they're gonna go ahead and get ready to have another baby while I still can. And then Ducro is going to kind of waddle that way, but be immediately watched over by his mother. There we go. All right, guys. Oh, I'm so nervous. We have got one, two, three nichelings on the nest. This is going to actually finish us off, and then we are going to have to pick who is going to be the leader of the tribe and how big of the tribe will be allowed to be on this island. I thought we would be bouncing off this swampy land as quick as we got in it, but because of how old our nichelings were, we needed to have a flurry of babies right away, and the results are kind of amazing. To the left, we have a whole bunch of darker colored forest wandering nichelings, and to the right, we have Tata himself trying to help us bring those water genes back in while we are still displaying strongly the toxic body patterning. What will happen? Whew. We're about to find out. And Larila, thank you so much for being the wonderful leader that you have been. You're forceful, optimistic, and judgmental, and I don't know if your optimism paid off, I'm going to be honest, on this island. But I'm glad you were with us. Rest in peace. Oh my gosh! So much just happened! Okay, guys. To the left, we have a baby girl named Miris. She is kind of adorable, pretty plain. To the middle side, we have, oh my gosh, a female named Cornisi, who has terrible fertility, but carries on that strength and is actually a great fisher and she's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Watched over by her, her siblings who have now been orphaned. And over here, <gasps> Nuta! A toxic body nicheling! <gasps> Tata, is this what you were trying to tell us all along? Oh my gosh, Nuta has been born. He has toxic body with, I meant toxic fangs as well, which means that he can feast upon this island if we so chose. So who will it be? Will we pick baby Nuta, who does have the ability to gather, uh, it looks like he has the ability to gather up the toxic berries and nothing else. Will we pick baby Kogisi? who has no fertility to her name whatsoever and also has amazing appearances but would carry on a very strong female line or would we even pick somebody like Miko or one of the other nichelings like Tata himself maybe he kind of wants the job to follow well that is going to be determined by how many nichelings we are going to be allowed to have in the tribe a number between 2 and 20 is about to be rolled and the answer is 10 Done, done, done! So we're gonna have to make some careful decisions about who we are going to focus on, and I think I just left Oren down there for no good reason last move. I'm sorry, Oren, you blended in with the water! So we are allowed to have 10 nichelings! 10 nichelings! And we are going to have to pick our leader next time, because that's gonna mean we have to release five nichelings already and figure out what we really want to focus on for our genes. Wow. Okay, guys, with that in mind, if you could, please leave a like to celebrate the amazing adventure we have had today. And if you have not yet subscribed, do please consider doing so to join our Nicheling Pantheon for this and so many other adventures. And I shall see all of you next time. Bye-bye.